Hi guys, what's up? This is Manas and I'm back with a new tutorial on projection of solids. So guys, this time around, it's going to be problem number two and it's going to be based on cylinder and, and where the axis of cylinder will be kept inclined to the vertical plane. Let's kick off. So the problem goes like this. Um, I draw the projections of a cylinder 75 mm diameter and 100 mm long lying on the ground with its axis inclined at 30 degrees to the VP and parallel to the ground. All right. A um, lot of data have been given to us and let's sort them one by one. So the object in this case is what you call a cylinder, right? Um, then we have this uh, diameter. The, obviously the base is going to be circular and the top is also circular and has a diameter of 75 millimeters. So let's write them, write it down. Base 75 mm diameter. The length is 100 millimeters. All right. And then we have this uh, lying on the ground. All right. So if it lies on the ground, then we can say that one generator of that cylinder is always in contact absolute contact with the horizontal plane okay and there is one more condition that we need to ensure and it should reflect perfectly in our drawing that says that the axis is inclined at 30 degrees to the VP so any inclination with the vertical plane is given by a phi and phi axis has been given to us as 30 degrees so phi is equal to 30 angle made with VP all right so initially I'll show you how the object has been kept or how the orientation is and then we're gonna uh, head over to solving the problem in AutoCAD I'm going to solve it in AutoCAD you guys can uh, make use of a drawing sheet for solving it all right so let's begin now guys this solid in front of you is uh, very popularly known as the solid or revolution and it has been given a name of cylinder all right so what we'll be doing is I'm going to initially tell you what all dimensions we have been given in the question now this over here is a circular top and a circular base and this has a diameter of let me see it is given it has been given as 75 millimeters all right so and at the same time this height or the axis length has been given as 100 millimeters long now we have been given a condition in the question that the axis starting from this point over here to this point center to center this is what you call the axis and this axis is actually parallel to the horizontal plane that means one thing is for sure that this cylinder is lying with its generator in absolute contact with the horizontal plane and when you do so whether you keep it like this this or anything anyway all right we will always see that this axis starting from this until this will always remain parallel to the horizontal plane all right so what we need to do is we need to make sure that the axis makes a certain angle with the vertical plane and that particular angle has been given as let me see how much it is 30 degrees to the vertical plane so initially we're going to do this all right and we will draw the front view first because the true shape of this base is seen from the front hence we will begin with front view and accordingly its top view that is going to be a rectangle will be made after this step number one we are going to do this ok we are going to tilt this at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical plane so in step number two what we will be doing is we will take the top view of step number one and we will be tilting or inclining it at a 30 degrees angle with the vertical plane so all those things will be happening below x y line that is going to be the top view and accordingly its front view will be made so when you look at it this from the front if this circular base will appear as an ellipse all right and this half circle will be evident this half ellipse will be evident from the front so uh, elliptical base and elliptical top will be evident from the front so this is exactly what we'll be trying to implement in this particular problem so let us now head over to your drawing sheets and where we can implement all these concepts that we've run right now thank you so now that practically you have seen exactly how the object has been kept let's start by drawing the front view and in front view you'll observe a circle so let's start by drawing a circle and but first of all I'll draw a line for this um, above this XY line so the center is going to be somewhere here at a height of 37.5 you know very well that the diameter of the circle is 75 hence the radius half of it that is 37.5 okay now with this guy as center I'll draw a circle and this circle is going to just touch this XY line all right now I need to divide this circle into eight equal parts so how am I going to do this please watch this carefully I'll draw this line to the right and I'll extend this line towards the left until it intersects this circumference somewhere here right again the same stuff so we have now successfully divided the circle into four equal parts what we need to do is we need to divide this into eight equal parts 
all right and for that what i'll be doing is i'll make a straw a small construction okay i'll take this guy as center right 37.5 as the radius i'll put up an arc same stuff again with this guy as center again 37.5 yeah there you go so this intersection point when you join this intersection point with this guy all right and when you extend this line towards the circumference of the circle it is going to end up somewhere here so that's how you do the bisection of any angle all right so this was a 90 degree angle i bisected it using this method and now i'm going to delay this um, the same stuff has to be repeated over here also all right so i'm be i'm going to be doing the mirror portion uh, please watch that carefully let me chop off this portion something else ah that now let us mirror this i'm going to do the mirror about this line that's it now this is how a circle can be divided into eight equal parts now let's name them um for that let me start from this point let us say that this is a uh, let us say that this is a all right since it's a front view we're going to write it as a dash h dash now there are actually two circles one at the front and one at the back all right something that you call a top and base for a cylinder so um so what we're going to do is uh, we have put up eight names of eight different points over here all right and similarly those eight names will be at the back also let us name them by numbers 1 to 8 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 all right uh, let's do this quickly and this is going to be some, what you call um one dash let's write this down as one dash this is going to be two dash now we have prepared the front view we're going to go for the top view all right in the top view i'm going to assume that the cylinder has been kept at a certain distance away from the vertical plane let us say 2 cm or 3 cm away from the vertical plane okay and taking that into consideration i'll be drawing the top view fine and for top view we're going to look put an arrow over here from the top all right something like this exactly okay so what i'll be doing is uh, please watch this carefully i'll be drawing the so called projector lines from these points all right that's it okay now 2 cm away all right so let this is going to be 20 mm and i'm going to go here this is going to be 75 all right pretty much and then the height of the cylinder okay or the length of the cylinder how let us see how much the length is this is 100 mm so what i'm going to be doing is i need to go 100 steps 100 mm in the downward direction and then back this is 75 obviously and back to where we started so this is how the cylinder would look from the top all right um then these points these are the generators from this point to this point one more from this point to this point all right one more one more to go this one over here right so as i've already told you alphabets at the front numbers at the back so when you look at this <coughs> front you're going to see these points a h g f e a h a h g f e all right remember so this is going to be um let me copy this this is going to be a h g f e now below a there is nothing but below h there is b below g it's c and below f it's d all right so b 
C and D in sequence. This is going to be B. This over here is C and this over here is D. All right. So the so this nomenclature is over for the front of the cylinder and let's um, focus our attention towards the back of the cylinder. Now the back of the cylinder has been numbered by numbers in fact. All right. Um, starting from this point from the left of your screen to the right one eight seven six and five. So this is going to be one eight seven six and five and below which there will be corresponding points one this is going to be one let's write this as one what's next eight seven six five all right so this is eight this is seven this is going to be six obviously and over here we have this as five moving further below eight we have two below seven Below 7, we have this guy, 3, and below 6, we have 4. So we have 2, 3, and 4. So this over here, 2, this is 3, and this over here is 4. Right? So the top view is over. We pretty much are doing task. All right. Now, what we need to do is, next step is to make sure that the axis is inclined to the vertical plane by an angle of let me check how much the angle is it is equivalent to 30 degrees so just the same way I explained you in the orientation all right so let's do this quickly so over here this this line you can see this um, this is what you call the axis okay center to center all right and in the top you can see the axis this axis has to be kept at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical plane so let's do this quickly I'm gonna draw a line all right, so this angle over here is the 30 degree angle. All right, and in this particular line, I need to fit this line because the axis will be making 30 degree angle with the vertical plane. And accordingly, this whole this whole uh, top view has to be recreated over here, and making sure that the angle made by the axis is 30 degrees. All right, um, so let's do this. All right, okay. So this is the angle that the axis is going to make with the vertical plane, and we are going to recreate this okay guys that's exactly what I was talking about recreating the top view from step 1 into step 2 making sure that the axis is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical plane all right the next thing to do is to draw projector lines from all these points over here and from all these points over here towards the right and they're gonna intersect at different points and then we're gonna join them in proper sequence in order to have the final front view so let's do this and for that I have to look at this object from over here so I need to put an arrow watching from this okay this is the limit up to which these points are gonna go okay one by one let me select each one of them so that all of them you can you can do this with the help of a mini drafter it's going to be pretty easy and in no real time okay so these are the points that I have got and uh, we're gonna look for now this this line over here which you see it's not a line guys it's a circle okay that can only be seen from over here the true shape of this can only be seen from here but right now we are seeing this from here so this circle would appear as an ellipse okay it's gonna squeeze itself all right uh, somewhere some so this is where we are going to draw that ellipse in fact okay so the next thing to do is to um, make all these points appear so these are the points a b h c g all right so the intersection of points is something that we're gonna use this is the vertical line from A and this is the horizontal line for E and that's let me and that's A dash all right similarly this is the vertical line for B and H and we have this this is the vertical line this is the horizontal line for B okay so this over here is obviously B dash similarly you can work out all the points okay so this is a b c d e all right f g h all right h all right now let's look forward towards these numbers over here all right so this is the vertical line for five and this is the horizontal line for five and both of them are going to intersect over here so this point obviously is going to be five dash okay similarly we have 
this line over here and this is the line for 6 and 4 all right so 6 horizontal line for 6 is over here so this is obviously 6 dash 5 and 6 this is obviously going to be 4 dash you can work that out um, this is going to be 3 dash okay and this over here is 2 dash this is 1 dash this is 8 dash and this is going to be 7 dash okay so you can do this intersection of clients method and you can work out each and every point all right as i've already told you we're going to see a squeezed circle that's what you call an ellipse over here so let us draw an ellipse first and uh, this is exactly what you're going to be seeing from the um, front okay so you can use you guys can you make use of a, what you call a French curve or you can go for free hand also all right so I usually advise students to go for free hand drawing okay to explore the world of sketching right now the next thing that's gonna be visible is over here over here also you're going to see uh, an ellipse let me show you this this way this way but the issue is that only half of that ellipse is going to be seen okay from point 7 to point 3 from point 7 6 5 4 and back to 3 okay all right so let us chop off the portion of the ellipse which is not going to be visible okay only this much portion of the ellipse is going to be visible this is also fully visible so let's darken them all right next thing to do is to join these watch this carefully guys to join these and this finally is what you're gonna see when the cylinder has been kept at an angle of 30 degree with the vertical plane okay so that's exactly what you're gonna see all right fine so guys that was all from my side I hope and I believe that you have learned something about projection of solids and how objects are oriented how they can be shown on a drawing sheet or a plan plane sheet of paper so guys if you have any doubts and queries uh, do write them down in the comment section below till then this is Manas Patnak signing off take care and keep drawing have a nice day